Hey, welcome back to another Zero Linux scripting tutorial of sorts. And in today's tutorial, we're going to go about how to create a script for updating our system. Let's say hypothetically you have multiple package managers on your system, like AUR, Helper, and anything else for that matter. So instead of having to type each packager, package manager's command in the, uh, in the terminal, you can create a script for that. As you can see, I have an example of the final result over here. This is what I just pushed via my uh, update tool just today. Uh, it's a zero Linux system updater. And I put a warning because option three uses top grade, which will upgrade everything which includes any Git repos, Docker containers, Nix, and device uh, firmware, and so on and so forth. This is a one-shot deal. So if you don't want to update any Git repositories you might have or Docker containers, because those might, uh, can get large, don't use this option. This is a, what, I, what I and DT call a nuclear option. So I left it for you advanced users out there. That's why I called the section advanced users. So select which packages you want to update. Arch and AUR, it will use Paru. And if you don't have Paru, uh, you have a Yay instead, it will default to Yay. And because Yay and Paru update Arch and AUR packages in one go. Flatpak packages and everything which uses top grade as explained up here. So I'm going to show you how to create this exact script. Not exactly, but I'm going to show you how to get by it. There's this template that I'm going to push to my uh, repositories and link in the description below, which you can get and modify to your heart's content. So first we got the script title and description. Call it whatever you want. Let's call it zero up the system updater like here. So we do this and paste zero Linux system updater. Select which packages you want to update, or you can call it whatever you want. Option one, Arch and AUR. So we type Arch and AUR. Option two, Flatpaks. And option three, we call it all in one updater or whatever you want. Like I called it everything one shot, but here we're calling it all in one updater. And here type uh, your selection to exit, just close the window. I left it there because it's a template. First, of course, we have to type the uh, read choice command. So we it reads whatever we selected up here. So read choice before that while semicolon dotted comma, whatever that's called. Then read choice case dollar sign choice all capitalized in number one parentheses, then echo, that's an empty line, then echo the hashes to decorate. This is all decoration. I add a sleep before and a sleep after. So here we have to type the command to, to execute. So in order to do it the way I did, like if Peru exists, use Peru. If not, use yay. To do it that way, we have to type it to type this in the field. So what did we type? If open bracket, open, bra open bracket, space dash F, find user bin Peru. This is where Peru resides. If it exists, then run Peru dash SYU. Else use yay dash SYU and close the if statement with FI. Then sleep again. Okay, action description. Then you hear you put, uh, I don't know, updating arch and a UR. Okay, and remove the extra spaces here, make it look good, then of course, done. Same thing here. Okay, so here, what are we going to update? Flatpaks. Flat back updates. So add one, two, three, add a few spaces. Then the command for flatpack is quite simply flatpack updates. Done. Do you see how I'm adding the commands between the sleep. It's very simple. It's as easy as that. Another action description here for top grade, updating the whole enchilada. Just giving it a touch of humor. And then for the command for top grade is simply top grade. And that's it. And of course you have to add the asterisk here because when, so when the user enters let's say four, five, six, seven, and so on, which isn't available here, it will tell the user 
oh no, you selected something that doesn't exist, please type a valid number. All right, this is always there. And don't forget, this script will be uh, cleaned up and made available as a template for you to start using to your heart's content and start using it on your own distros. And if you're using Debian, for example, upgrade, if it exists, keep it. Flatpak, keep it, because it's the same on every distribution. That's what I love about Flatpak. As far as Paru and Ye, you can replace it by just a simple apt update or DNF update or zipper upgrade, something like that for OpenSUSE, etc., etc., etc. This is not limited to Arch. Keep in mind that this script is not limited to Arch. You can customize it for whatever distro you're running. You just change the titles, the descriptions, and the commands to run. It's just a template script to use wherever, right? So if you uh, if you want to use it on Debian, you can. You can use it on DNF. You can use it on Arch. There, you can use it a million different ways. So I hope that this short and quick tutorial helped you out in any way, shape, or form. And if you have any questions, you are welcome to join our Discord or via the comments below or Telegram. We have so many ways to be contacted. So if you want to use that script and you have any questions beyond what I mentioned here, feel free. I'll be here. So, all right. I'll be signing off.